My mother was born in 1894. Uh, my grandfather, Jacob Papo, arrived in Israel as a baby with his parents from Sarajevo, if I understand well. And my mother was very proud of the lineage in the Papo family, and she would mention to me that we were uh, descendants, that at least her father was a descendant uh, from the Rabbi Eliezer Papo, who wrote uh, Pele Yoetz. They used to have uh, coffee at 3 o'clock every afternoon, uh, Turkish coffee. And they would talk about events from Europe. And the chronological referral time was before the fire or after the fire. Antes del fuego or después del fuego. And that was the point that they could re refer to chronologically to determine when something happened. Of course, they rarely agreed on when that, when that was, uh, occurred. Where apparently every family used to bake two breads. One was the regular bread for Friday night and, and Saturday, and the other one was the pan de sedaka, which was even bigger. It was supposed to be double the size. And that bread was collected in a big bag by somebody who used to collect all those breads and give the pan de sedaka to the, to the poor. Um, My father died in 1962 and he was already thinking of leaving. A lot of his family was in Madrid. So for us, I still remember my father one morning coming with a newspaper and it says, La Charte de Tanger est aboli. The, the charter, the constitution of Tangiers is abolished meaning Tangiers is no longer an independent entity governed by a body of different uh, governments, but it's fully integrated in Morocco. And my father said, this is the end. We left uh, an apartment. We left, uh, as I said, we were not rich, but we left uh, silver things, um, we left whatever we had, again, as I can't remember, we left, uh, we, we could leave only with a suitcase each, and I think $3,000. And the Moroccan Aliyah was done in secret. Uh, people were basically living in secret. Um, there were containers uh, that were sent to the homes at night. It was all prearranged. The whole container was filled with all the contents of the home and put in the harbor, and, 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 uh, and that was it. My brother-in-law's father had a coffee shop on Neptune Avenue in Brooklyn, and it was a big congregation, a uh, congregating point for uh, Sephardim. He had had one on the Lower East Side, and it was called, it was basically a, uh, a uh, place where Sephardic Jews came, Turks particularly, to find a job. <laughs> 